Hey everyone and welcome to the 6th episode in my Crossy Road tutorial series. Today, I will be adding the title screen because currently, if we click this green flag, it just restarts the game. Now instead of this, I wanted to actually go into a title screen. and Maybe there we can have a place where we can select different skins. Overall, it'll make it look more polished. Let's hop right into it. Okay, so I have two brand new sprites. One is called title screen and one is called player skin description. In the title screen, all I have is a few costumes. One is just called title and it is the title, Jumpy Chicken. Then I have one called rotate button. It is just a simple rotate button I designed. And then one is called shine, which is just a huge shine. In the player skin description, I literally just have one costume. It's hard to see. I'll make a background real quick. It just is a description of the skin. So now with that out of the way, let's start programming. So go ahead and click onto the player and we're going to edit some of these scripts. To start, let's make a brand new broadcast message and name this title screen like so. Next on this wind green flag, clicked broadcast title screen and go ahead and pull off this broadcast start game. Now we can pull out a when I receive title screen, just do broadcast start game. Set game over to title. And the reason nothing has changed is because when we do the when I receive reset player, we set the game over to no. We do not want this, so go ahead and take that out. So now as you can see, when we start this game, everything is different. We can't move and that is exactly what we want because this is a title screen. So the first thing you may have noticed is the score does not look good. So go ahead and go into the score and and duplicate this if else this game over equals to no now go ahead and get everything out of that now just change this to if it equals title like so and then put everything in the else and if it is equal to title then we are going to go ahead and hide so now you should see that that is hidden so now let's go ahead and click on the title screen and make this all look good let's start by doing a win green flag click a go to zero zero a hide and now we need a new variable and name this clone id and make sure you do for the sprite only very very important next let's set that clone id to right rotate button now go ahead and do create clone of myself duplicate all of this instead of right do left next do shine and last but not least you can go ahead and get rid of this create clone of myself and just plop the clone id right there and just change this to title so now all of our clones should be created but you shouldn't see any because of this hide block. Okay, so now let's do a when I receive update block right here and then do an if statement and then equals game over equals to title. Then clear graphics effects and show. Next we'll deal with all the different clones. So let's do an if else and do if the clone ID is equal to title. Switch costume to title. Go to zero zero and now we need a few algorithms. Go into the player and pull in this point and direction one right here and now you can go into the score because we need this little one the cosine of timer and all that stuff and of course go back to the player because I forgot one and make sure you do this change size by one into the title as well. So now we have a bunch of algorithms we can use. So the first one is this cosine. We put that in the Y and do times 150. You can take out this plus and then times five like so. Next do a turn 15 degrees and change this to 90 minus direction. Then the change size by right there. Now we need to do an if else here and do if touching mouse pointer then change the size by 125 minus size divided by 15 else change size by 100 minus size divided by 3. So there you go the title is completely done and as you can see when we first start look at that we have a title screen and when we hover over it it gets a little bit bigger. Okay maybe not 125 let's try like 105 just so it's very subtle. As you can see now when we hover over this it's a very subtle little jump. Duplicate all of this and do if clone id is equal to copy that right rotate button then switch costume to rotate button and go ahead and do this go to x is 80 and y is 150 times 5 then you can do minus 50. Now it's down a bit. Take out all of this and just do point and direction, then duplicate all of that. And instead of minus 90, go ahead and take this plus 90. And then we can change this 
times 250, then times 5 plus 90. So now the rotate button should be looking pretty good. So let's put that in the else right there. And there we go. Now we have a little rotating button that looks nice. Now duplicate this right rotate button and change it to if it is equal to left rotate button. So now we just want to do negative 80 for the X and instead of plus 90, let's take this minus 90. That way it flips itself horizontally. And it is also going to be rotate button. So now as you can see, we have two buttons. Okay, so now let's finish this off by dealing with the shine. So duplicate this and do if clone ID is equal to shine and switch costume to shine and go ahead and delete this and delete this and just do go to zero zero and change the Y position to this backdrop number of stage, except just scroll down until you find player and change this to Y position of player. Now we can go ahead and do turn two degrees so it forever rotates around, set the ghost effect to 76, and then set size to duplicate this Y position of player and change this to size minus 150. So that way it's a little bit smaller than the player. And then put that in the else. So now let's make the player be centered in the screen and actually look like it's part of this title screen. So head into the player and we have some coding to do. Okay, so see this when I receive update right here? Go ahead and do an if else and do if the game over is equal to title. And go ahead and put that around all of this. Now take that out and just do go to all of that in the else statement there. Then in the go to, just do go to zero zero, except what we're going to do is actually pull in this little algorithm in the score into the player, that cosine one. So now we'll go ahead and put that in the Y. And as you can see, immediately our player is floating up and down. So go ahead and just do the timer times 250 times five and then minus some. So let's do minus 45 and put that in there. So now as you can see, it's in the middle of of our button and that looks a lot better. Now we need to go ahead and make a new block and nameless look and click OK. So this look is just going to keep track of all the looks of this. So put that right above the X limit. Now we can go ahead and put this if touching lily pads and all this change size by in there. And that just cleans up that script quite a bit. And we can go ahead and move that like say right here. Next duplicate this if game over equal to title for the if else and then go ahead and put that on the bottom like so then we can go ahead and do this else right here so if it's not equal to title then it's going to do the same thing we always have because that's when we're playing the game but if it is equal to title then i want to check if we're touching the mouse pointer that way when we hover over it it's a little bit bigger so if we're touching the mouse pointer then change size by 250 divided by 2 otherwise just change size by 225 divided by 2 so now immediately boom like i said the shine is there and then we have this nice looking chicken that looks awesome. So now we have a good looking title screen and this is where we can select our skins. So that is super, super exciting that this is all coming together. Now we want to make it to where when we press W, it'll actually go forward and make this title screen and all this stuff go away so we can actually play the game. So in this player sprite, on the when I receive title screen, the stuff we just did, what I want to do is do a repeat until right underneath here and do repeat until game over is equal to no. So that means we've started the game. Then we're going to wait until W key is pressed, which means that we've tried to jump. Then set the game over to no and broadcast start game once again. Now it resets everything. So now let's try to press W. Boom, look at our game has started and everything is normal, except for the fact that all this title and stuff is here. Go ahead and head into the title screen. So now let's go ahead and do a when I receive start game, if the game over is equal to no, so duplicate that and do no. Then we can go ahead and duplicate all of these. So this is where it gets a little bit complicated because I want all of them to have their own unique animation. And go ahead and delete this if clone ID is equal to shine and put those all in there. So if it's title, then I'm going to repeat five times, change Y by eight, and then change the ghost effect by 20%.
select, then hide. And then for the else on the rotate button, just do repeat 10 times change ghost effect by 10. So this is if it's not handled in all of these, it'll default to that. Now if we go ahead and start the game, as you can see, the title has a nice animation and it at least fades away. So now let's do the right rotate button. Duplicate all of this and instead of change Y by 8, change X by 10 and put that in the right, oops, put that in the right rotate button. For the left rotate button, just do change X by negative 10. And last but not least, just have that and then do hide on this repeat 10. Now you should see when we start, boom, everything has a nice animation. These buttons kind of go outward and this jump title fades up. So now we can just go boop, boop, boop and go on with our game. So that is super good and way better looking. So now you may see that when we start the game, it actually like creates a new ground and it blinks for a second. So to change this, go ahead and pull this create ground out of the when I receive start game. And that is in the player, by the way. And change that to actually broadcast create ground right underneath this broadcast start game here. Now you should see that when we start, as you can see, it doesn't do that blink thing anymore. It just seamlessly goes into the game. So this may seem like it's done, but we have quite a few bugs. So if we go ahead and get taken out and try to restart this game, uh oh, something is very wrong. Like what is that zero doing down there and why can't I move? And why is my chicken not blinking in a stair? So the reason for this is actually simple because in the beginning we set the game over to title and we don't reset it anymore. We need to still set the game over to something in the reset player. What we can do is if else here and do if the game over is equal to title. Duplicate this and set the game over to title. Else set the game over to no at the very end. So that right off the bat should hopefully fix some of our bugs. Let's go ahead and get hit by a missile. Boom. Okay, our poor chicken is taken out and let's try restarting now. And there we go, everything is working fine. And we try to click this title button, it won't work. So let's fix this. Go into the game over and find this if else with the game over equals to yes, touching mouse port, and then find this blank spot right here. Then go ahead and duplicate this and change this to broadcast title screen. So that is actually it. Now let's see if this works first try. So let's go ahead and once again, get hit by a missile or get hit by a car. I don't care. Let's just go for a missile. It's easier. And we try to click this title button. And look at that, it, oops, it worked and then I accidentally jumped. Quick adjustment to make this a little bit less jarring when we generate the ground, as you can see, it just blinks and it's kind of looking. All we need to do is do, instead of wait 0 0.01 seconds, just wait zero seconds. So it'll still actually wait, I think one frame maybe it is. I'm not sure, but it just makes it a little bit better for creating the ground. And another thing you can do to make it not blink as bad is go into the ground and see this ground one costume, pull that into the backdrop, then just make that the default backdrop by deleting all the other ones, and now it'll always have a green backdrop. So as you can see, that takes out that blink. So there you go. That is how to fix a lot of the blinks. So now as you can see, if we click on the title button, it shouldn't blink as bad. So title, and there we go. That looks a lot, lot better. Okay, so now I think the last thing we need to do is just make this player description pop up right around his tail. This is actually super super simple to do. All we need to do is do a when I receive start game right here and then do if game over is equal to no, then repeat five times, change the ghost effect by 20, then hide. So that is just going to be when we start playing. Then we can do a when I receive update, which is actually just forever and ever and ever. Then if the game over is equal to title, so duplicate this and change this to title. And if it is, then we're going to clear the graphic effects show and then for now just do switch costume to chicken one then go to zero zero set size to 100 percent and we're actually going to change this a bit what we are going to do is a little bit complicated we're going to start by doing a minus then a divided by and put the minus in the left then do negative to 10 like so that is the y position so negative to 10 minus y position divided by 2 
Now let's take this plus a cool algorithm. So now as you can see, that immediately bounces. So what this algorithm does is make it bounce into position. So right now it's zero. And if we go ahead and put that in the Y, watch it closely. It bounces into the position. So that's just a cool little algorithm you can do. Now I want to use this cosine algorithm that makes it float up and down. So go into the title screen and pull in this cosine of timer times five. And you don't need to do the minus and plus. Now pull that into the plus sign and change this to 250 instead. So now as you can see, it'll still do that bounce, but on top of that, it'll go up and down. That is because we did plus. So now it has a cool description. So for now, this is going to be good. And as you can see, if we go ahead and start the game, it just simply fades out and is pretty simple. So you may be wondering yourself right now, what's the purpose of that title screen button? So here's what's going to happen. We're going to have the skin. So if you click this right button, it'll rotate through all the skins. And then if you click the left button, obviously it'll go the other way. Then if you have whatever skin it may be, so like the chicken and you press the W, you'll play with that brand new skin. Versus if you just want to keep going with your same old skin without restarting and going to the title screen, all you need to do is click this restart button and it'll instantly restart you with the same skin you had on previously. There you go. That is how to add a title screen into your game. I hope you enjoy this episode or you learned something. If you did, then drop a comment below. If you need help, of course, I'll be happy to read through all of them and make sure while you're at it to hit the like button and consider subscribing. Stay tuned for the next episode because I'll be showing how to add the skins into the game so you can actually rotate through skins and you'll have to do certain things to unlock new skins. It's going to be so exciting. Anyway, this has been Owen and I am out.